Hata ile swali mwenye aliuliza hajakuja. Ile swali tunafaa tutako leo. What is salvation? Haya so let's have that discussion. What is salvation? Yeah. Salvation is believing in the forgiveness of sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. Eh. Uh-huh. Confession. Eh. Uh-huh. Salvation is a second chance. Okay, second chance. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, shall you? Eh. Accepting Christ to take over. Eh. Accepting Christ. Salvation. That's, that was a very general question. But in any case, to context of the Bible. So let me repeat, what is salvation? Bila kufikiria story ya Bible, general, ukisikia mseme sema, we got saved, like generally. What does the word salvation mean? It is saving. It is, you know, when somebody say it, when you use the word salvation, it's somebody who was probably in could have been hijacked yeah. in a situation uh-huh. and all of a sudden a situation happened uh-huh. like a talker yeah. so that would be if I was just a layman uh-huh. it would click that I was taken out of yeah. a situation uh-huh. 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 from the fire yeah. you know a house was burning the child was saved from the fire I'm from drowning yeah. you know like so then now we come to the Christian context. What is salvation? Now with that mind is at us. <laughs> what is salvation? It's a relationship that God has for me it's the same concept of it's redemption. Mm-hmm. You know, it's being redeemed again. You see, mm-hmm. I was I was born a sinner. Yeah. So I was in that danger. Mm-hmm. But when Jesus came and died, he mm-hmm. redeemed me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give me a second chance. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Ah, yeah, and I shine. Oh, I look like what I revised. Roger was saying, You are Jew. What is salvation? That's, a, that's an interesting thing. Like, many people don't even know what being saved is. Is is about. Ekoza makanisa. So let me ask. Saved. You see, when you talk about saved, being saved, uh, we start looking at people and saying, this person is not behaving like a saved person. Okay. <laughs> So the question is, is saved based on what you do or not? Like how you live your life or not? Yeah. <laughs> In the opposite. In the opposite. So saved, does, does how you live determine whether you are saved or not? Yes, right. I think I'll, I'll, I'll use the same definition you get for being saved. And say, assuming you are saving somebody from falling into a swimming pool, she are going to chase around the swimming pool in your uh, ukendani. Uh-huh. So when you save them from that, uh-huh. it means that you are going to chase a swimming pool in your swimming pool. You are going to chase a swimming pool in your So I'm just trying to think about the question in a different way. Uh-huh. Because now that we live like Christians who have been saved, but still play with fornication. Yeah. We still play with adultery. You know, we still play around those things that you are saved from. Yeah. Yet you are saved from falling into them. So maybe I will put that in that. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. So what you're saying is saved uh, determines lifestyle. I'm a, yes. a lifestyle, there is a particular lifestyle that one should live because they are saved. Yes. Okay? So that's the general in this, isn't it? But then, what if someone is saved, but that lifestyle, how is he But they are still saved. Yes. Yeah? Your lifestyle is a cover. Yeah. Expect the lifestyle. Yeah, you are a cover. This is what is called saved. 
And even seeing that you're not in any. I'm not like that. Uh -huh. Because then, uh, if, 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 if you say that it is not, then we say one saved, forever saved. Mm -hmm. The true gospel. Uh -huh. You know, there is that theory. Uh -huh. They say one saved, forever saved. That means if you really for the kid, for the kid, where do you want to Nimishara utapata. Rewards ndiyo zero, yes. What if msana die? Ehe. Kama ule the thief, you say Jesus and Amambia, but you will be together with you. Ehe. What do you say? Ehe, karis karibu, man. Ehe, tulikuwa na last kuya manda mano. Of the team. Of the team. Hey, you are part of the team. Okay. So does it mean when they are around you confess to everyone? Not everyone, but yeah. Yeah. everywhere. To the higher power. Like oh yeah, so, you confess to God that you are saved. But then, how do people know that you are saved? Uh -huh. So that's what I'm asking. Does actions determine that you are saved? Yes. It will. There's a certain way you behave. You will not behave like. Uh, uh, aya, so, <laughs> now I want to behave vizuri, kabisa, but they are not saved. <laughs> we, shall we confuse them with being saved? No, understand the question. Understand the question I'm asking. <laughs> I'm asking, does action determine, determine that you are saved? Okay? So because this is the assumption we Christians have, when it comes now to churches and many of us pastors, we assume that because someone is saved, they ought to behave in a certain way. And it is, there is no problem assuming that. But then we don't assume that because someone is behaving very well, they may not be saved. Okay. Because we have good people, general, they are very good people. Like they are kind. They are, they actually behave. You see, the principles orders are see to the the way people should live. Uh, you know, they they don't have isom and is fornication and any. They are very nice people, but they are not saved. You get. So what does? So what are they? They are just good humans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are unbelievers. Sikatai. So what determines that they are not believers? Because it's not about works. It's, so, uh, uh, it's not about works. Uh, uh, it is about the salvation, the uh, grace of God. Uh, uh, works cannot earn us. Now. Yes. So, sir, so when you say it's not about works, what you are saying is, Mtu anaweza kuwa ameokoka lakini works zake hazijaokoka but it's not about works you, you need to understand what I am asking because it's somewhere we are going with this okay let me repeat there are two people one confesses i am saved okay by the blood of jesus eh eh hey, yote amesema yote na mdomo yake ame confess by the blood of jesus i am going to heaven ame confess the other one haja confess haja sema i am saved okay but he's good this one mwenye ame confess kuna vile unaangalia life yake uko zile za ai hapa kuna tashwishi huyu mwingine haja sema they are saved but they are very focused they are good they are kind they, they are practicing values christian values but haja sema ameokoka okay but kuna amesema so, what determines that they are saved? Is it the wax or the belief? The belief yes. determines they are saved. So, where do the wax come in? So, why do we have to tell people 
to behave in a certain way <laughs> because they are saved. You get my point? Yeah. We don't tell them. It's an expectation. Yeah. Yeah, tell them. No, we pastors. We we pastors. Sisi, oh sorry. <laughs> See your lives. Sisi pastors. I'm a churches. They overburden Christians with a specific code of living. Because they say, when you, ha when you are saved, this is the specific code of living. Okay? But then they don't overburden the good people who are not saved. They don't go evangelizing to them, telling them, get saved. Because who a good person doesn't look like they need to be saved. They are actually living a life like, as if they are saved. saved. That is the assumption we have. You get my point? So when you talk about salvation, what are we talking about? Yeah? Sorry? Hey, your belief. I am saved. You see, no one can determine who will go to heaven other than Jesus Christ. Jesus does determine who gets to heaven and who doesn't get to heaven. Okay? Such that he is the only one. Natangalia scriptures. You, someone cannot say, because I believe in God and not Jesus, I am saved. In truth, he is not saved. You don't, have, you don't believe in God and then dismiss Jesus and expect to be saved. <laughs> and that's the doctrine Americans, Akina Oprah Winfrey, has introduced. You can believe in God, but not Jesus. You can mention God on my show, but not Jesus. Again, so when I separate the two, they have no issue with God. They have every issue with Jesus. And you know why that deception in a come? Because even the devil knows the way to salvation is belief in Jesus. Very specific. I am the way, the truth, and life. Very specific. Hakuna, oh, basa God nani, shatani na kuletea ile idea, I won't believe in God, man. I won't believe in God. So you realize, even most pastors, when they are teaching, they don't mention Jesus most of the times. The only time Jesus is mentioned is I am a ombi. In the name of Jesus. And because to be ambiguous, we pray in the name of but in their teachings, they don't really study Jesus. Okay? And Jesus said, fine. But then we don't study the character of Jesus, the disciplines of Jesus, the life of Jesus. We don't do that. But oh, God will bless you. God is good. God is this. And, and there is no problem with that. The only challenge is we are not acknowledging Jesus. We are also not acknowledging the Holy Spirit. Okay? So let's go back to salvation. So, what does it mean to be saved? Alright? Because that's a very critical thing. This guy who dies at the cross, what works did he have? <laughs> yeah? Uh, he had zero works. Like, zero. Like, we say, aliokoka tu ile kifluki. Ile meangukia tu, mepatana na mseku wa cross, mechawa chapa gumzo hapo, hey, okay, yeah, oh, so you are the savior, yeah, save me then. Like, ile, you are dying, and then you meet Jesus, and you are like, okay, save me. But then the kulikuwa na wimu ingine pia, e wimu ingine, akozile za, if you are the savior, why don't you save yourself first? <laughs> You get those those two people represent the two groups that we have in the world. There are people who are like the, this first thief, the thief who refused to receive Jesus, because they say, if you guys are saved, why don't you save us also? Why don't you save the economy? You get then kuna umingine na believe ye ye aliskia wadaka I can believe too. So how how did he live his life? 
Unajua you know that hiyo story ya Thief of the Cross inakanganyaga wasi sana. Kwa sababu ama theologians wenye na believe hii lazima kuwe na mikakati fulani ya kuokoka ya kuishi. Inakanganyaga sana. Because then it destroys all your theology. Wale wana insist ukiokoka lazima ubatizwe. So where was baptism with that guy? Wale wanasema ukiokoka lazima uongee in tongues. So at what point did that guy speak in tongues? <laughs> You get my point. Those guys who believe that if you get saved, you must do one, like attend some discipleship classes. So how did that guy? What discipleship class did that guy attend? You, you get the point. Like, unaka <laughs> unasema okay. Um say, alingia heaven with no effort. He made no effort. Haku attend convention, haku attend conferences, haku, haku fly na mandege, haku pata ma ama bearers. You get, Jesus meets him at the cross. They are both dying. Wewe, take example, yo jamaa, tuseme ni wewe, you are both dying. Then umse mungina na kuambia, boss, I am eternal life. <laughs> and you are like, what? Si tumeanga pa kwa msalaba na wewe, how are you even eternal life? At you all believe in me. And you will see paradise. Ata wewe, in your logical mind, would you believe in Dukama Uyo? Z. That's why we say the other thief, he was like, see, you save yourself, Kwanza. Then you tell us, now let me, not your cross. Misala, nini, misumari medungili wa apa. Neo ingine apa. Asi apa. Ilekwa between, not your bone, kuna gap up. That's why ilekwa ndio, yeze kushikapua. Alafu, <laughs> alafu migu, umechapilua one, one, musumari moja migu zote mbili. It wasn't an easy thing to be crucified. And you see, when the Romans uh, created crucifixion, they created it, um, they, they invented it to be the worst kind of punishment to the worst criminals. That was the worst punishment. Like, ukisikia mdo nenda kuwa crucified. Munajua huyu ameisha. Because this is what used to happen. So they'll come with this rusted needle, uh, nini, uh, nails. Wanachapili hapa. Na hana uruma. Wanaekele mkono then. Na, alafu na jokuwa na hizi nyundo kidogo. Kulikuwa na hizi manyundo za nini. You know hizi, inikikuwa hizi natekua ifoi. Nikile kinyundo kia kubomua mawe. You know those manini kia kubomua walls. So one soldier na shikilia msumari. Msumari ilikuwa, I wish ninge, ninge pata nini. But zile msumari unashika hivi. Siyo tule tudogo, ni manail zile kubwa. So nekelewa, then, pa! Pa! Mara kama mbili tatu, isha tea hapa, isha ingia kwa mbao. Then, ikienda ki, ki, sayi kitokea kwa hizo mbao na huko nyuma, wanaiyeka hinge, wanaikunja hivi sasa. They stalk. So that she happened, right, left hand, right hand, and then migu. So mgu moji inashikuwa kwanza, inachapiliwa. Na ujue mgu ukichapiliwa si pale kwa nini Si hapa kwa Si hati hapa mbele Ni pale karibu na eh, Okay, I don't know what they are Unola pale kwa joint Like when you turn your leg like this Hapa sasa, hapo juu Ndiyo sayi shike Inachapiliwa mgu ya kwanza Then Yungi ina chukuliwa Inaekelewa ingine pa, Inachapiliwa tena So you already, you're bleeding You're in pain, you're in agony Then Ina cross over to the other mbao All the way Nenda then uko nyuma ina kunjwa hivi Okay But then they would make sure That your legs were put in a way Where you cannot stand straight Okay Like for you to even breathe You must push yourself up So I want to make sure That when, when you have when They crucify you You are slumped Reason is because they want to drain all your energy such that you are unable to breathe. And then eventually, you die out of your own, you suffocate yourself with your own blood. That was the whole process. So they'll make sure your legs zimejikunja in a way that when you're crucified, your body inaenda chini. So for you to breathe, you must push yourself up, take a breath of air, <gasps> Then you go back, because then you are not strong enough. Umechapwa, umeteswa, you are losing blood, okay? Then, when the hawks want to come and eat your eyes or whatever, there is nothing you can do, because you are still alive. 
so you can see the hoax imekuja imechapa mawe ka imechukua macho ka you know like unajaribu kufanya hivi kwa sasa the muna ngangana ndio inakuonyesha sasa mimi ndio pro hii pa ina ukula pa like uku kuote unakuliwa 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 at the same time bado you can't breathe so you are ngangaring you are, you are bleeding so you are suffocating pole pole it's a slow death ukwe situation then someone is telling you I'm the eternal life kuna shida shida ni nini madman ana zingu ana kwa kwa hapo so eventually yeah. when they come and they find you are not yet dead they break your legs so that you suffocate quickly wacha wacha kumaso your strength unavuta hewa unarudi unavuta hewa na get so they break your legs that's why when they came they broke the legs of those two thieves because walipata hajakufa so na gongwa pa ana gongwa tena pa like ile migu sasa wezi sasa wezi jirudisha juu so unaanza kukufa unakufa unakufa pole pole unaona unakufa ukisikiaga unakufa unajua unakufa na ukufu kwa ugonjwa na si poison you are dying so you are dead so when they came to jesus they found he was already dead but now they wanted to verify if he's dead and one way to verify was to pierce his lungs because then kwa ile process of suffocation maji ya mwili ilikuingia wapi kwa lungs so lungs ikija maji then you are dead you can't breathe anymore and that was why every time aki rise up to take breath akirudi chini body yenyewe inaanza ku produce hiyo nini sasa inatoa maji so when he pierced akapata damu yake ilikuwa mixed up na nini na maji from the lungs and so he knew this guy is dead but the most interesting thing is when that blood touched that soldier he cried surely this was the son of god he cried out you see when we read the bible it was a man a story book but in truth pale sasa kwa ground sasa the guy cried out as if he had ni kama aligongwa na shock ni kama immediately something happened to him when that blood touched him he knelt and cried out surely this was a son of god na get then kwa kuwa na because vanya likufa sikulikuwa na darkness na nini hiyo yote he endured all that yet he had the power to call heaven and ask for angels wakujua mdoe kwa hiyo msalaba that is why kwa ile garden of gethsemane when jesus was so overwhelmed by the thought of the cross that he was bleeding blood they said there were drops that was in a kadamu but in truth it was blood okay no, not bleeding he was sweating blood because he could see you see can you explain sai about the cross is not really entirely it me i'm just giving you know what i've read here and there but the truth is the ones who experienced the cross they knew the burden the pain how much anguish they, they you know they had to go through and jesus also knew the anguish that was before him and that was waiting for him okay so pale kwa garden of gethsemane what does he do he starts crying and weeping and then even the guys who were supposed to stand with him walilala akina <laughs> pita the ones that come later these are my friends they cried so they slept so akiamka anapata amelala akiamka anapata amelala he knew what was to come he knew the pain he knew the the anxiety he knew the problem he knew the the pain of the cross but eventually he went through with it to earn us human beings salvation <laughs> okay so that this is in as mean i to say have kwenda through your process yote he unders salvation but then the question is what did he actually earn your salvation what is it so he went through that turn to romans no let's start with Ephesians so that I give you scriptures to show what he actually earned your time yote yenye walienda through alienda through hiyo ni yote hiyo process yote the pain the anguish 
the the betrayal let's start with Ephesians chapter 2 8 to 9 Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 if someone akwa hapa anaweza soma for it is by free grace mm. that you are saved and made partakers of, of God of Christ's salvation through your faith and this is not of yourselves but it is the gift of God not because of works lest any man should boast mm. It is not the result of what anyone can possibly do, so no one can pride himself in it or take glory to himself. Mm. Imagine. Was she picking up a sabu? Someone read another version. Do you say that to, to, to explain? For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Mm. We are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto God works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Mm -hmm. Higher. For it is by grace. By what? By grace. By um, look at your friend, tell them it is by grace. It is by grace. Look at the other one. The one behind you, tell them, oh, it's by grace, oh. It is by grace. Hey. <laughs> so what is grace? According to the Bible. E grace, e. what is it? Unmerited favor. Unmerited favor? So what does unmerited, like, is it? I know in Missouri, but so that, to break down, what is it? What is that unmerited? You need ni you gin unmerited. Undeserved. Okay? Kit what away always deserve. Like even if even you yourself you know, any me I don't deserve this. But then it's still given to you. Okay? So it is by this undeserved favor. Undeserved grace. This is what it means. For example, Tseme, uh, you are you are not qualified for a job and you go apply it but you know very well you're not qualified academically whatever you're not qualified for it but then this person says you know what I will still give you this job as a gift you don't have to learn it now but I will give you as a gift this job and I will start paying you exactly what you're supposed to be paid. Whether you learn on the job or you don't, I will continue to pay you. You get my point? And this, this person says, in fact, his job category yake, una fall lipo 500K. What will you say? What will be your response? A lot of words. <laughs> But I'm not qualified. So, this person is not paying you for your performance in this job. They are paying you because they are extending kindness to you. You get my point? So, they are not paying you because of what you have already done. I'm not because you have proven yourself. I'm not because you may pass interview. I'm not because you have done very well. No. I don't have experience. But they are saying, I'm going to pay you 500k every month for the rest of your life for this job. So, which tells you, whether you learn on this job or you don't, you are still going to get paid. Whether you perform on this job or not, the gift is still there. But then he tells you, once this life is over, I will still take care of you based on performance. Okay? Right now, I'll pay a kazi, 500k every day, every month for the rest of your life. Till the day you, you breathe your last. When you breathe your last, where you go will be determined, how you live after that will be determined by how you perform in this job. But I'm not paying you to perform. 
It's your choice. It's your choice. Whether you perform or you don't, it's up to you. But after this, there will be a payment for your performance. Now, if this person is giving you 500k for not performing, how much do you think he will give you for actually performing? <laughs> Okay, so I need to go ahead of myself. Let me ni back here, pa, pa. Payment. You are getting paid. You are given this. For it is by grace you have been saved. You have what? Look at your friend. It is by grace you have been saved. Mwambi evo. Hey, it is by grace you have been saved. Through what? Through what? Through faith. <laughs> Through faith. So two things. You have been saved through faith. By grace, through faith. Higher. So where does faith come in in all of this? The belief that I am saved. Salvation is not a feeling. Okay? Being saved, oh, I felt like crying. It is okay to have feelings. But then how do you know that you are saved? It's only by faith. Because always you announce, you guys, I am saved. So how do you know that? It's not a feeling, it's not something when a guza useme salvation, guza salvation. That's what I'm saying. It is very hard to judge or to determine that someone is saved and someone is not saved based on how they live. Let me repeat that so that uh, you know, with an explanation. There are very good people in this world. Very good people, kind people. They don't tolerate immorality. They are men of integrity, women of integrity, but they are not saved. Okay? They are not saved. They don't believe in Jesus. They, they are not saved. But they are very good. They have strong moral principles. Like they have whatever we Christians say is saved, they have it. But they are not saved. And then we have others. They are morals, sangine zinangalia south, sangine zinangalia north. Sangine zikotu hivi. But they are saying they are saved. Okay? Most of the times, if we were to pick who is saved, we would pick the one who looks like they are straight. But the one who looks hivi hivi, we will say this one is not saved. But then we are getting to heaven, and we actually realize who yu mwenye likuwa nakani kama ako hivi, amenda hell. Now you mwenye alikuwa nakaakaa hivi ndio anatufungulia milango. Ndio atukaribisha karibu ni heaven because what is wrong with this? <laughs> because salvation is and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. So tell your friend salvation is not is not from you. It is not from you. It is a gift from God. It is a gift from God. <laughs> It is not your effort. It is not your effort. So, so don't go around uh, thump, uh, you know, chest thumping. I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. From what? From where? How did you save yourself? It is a gift. You have received the gift. You have received what? The gift. So ask your friend, have you received this gift? Have you received this gift? Yes, my grace. <laughs> so how do you receive this gift not by works you don't receive it by working you don't get saved by being nice by being kind by giving that's not the, the no in fact in fact there are people who are very big givers and they are not saved. They don't, be, they don't even believe in Jesus. But they give a lot of money. Some of them even give to churches. But they are not born again. They, don't ha they have not received this gift of salvation. But they are mistaken because they think they are giving will guarantee a place in heaven. It is not true. It will not guarantee a place in heaven. Here in the Ile, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. For the righteous. <laughs> okay, like wale wa ovu wanaleta mishara yao, pesa yao kwa church. Kazi ya mungi naendele? Naendele Because this thing is by grace. 
So it's not by works, so that no one can boast. So Jesus goes to the cross and he endures all that anguish and all that pain and all that <coughs> challenge and all the shame so that this gift can be provided for. You see, at the cross, Nikama kulikuwa na transaction. Because from Genesis all the way to your time here, Jesus, God alikuwa me let different ways of trying to get mankind to be saved, atoned, for their sins to be atoned for. Kulikuwa na priests, walikuwa na peana offerings, ya bull. Okay? A priest akifanya dhambi alikuwa na anasafishwa na bull, ngombe, you know, our two are dog or dog or pigeon, poor people, chicken, pigeon, whatever. So then Jesus comes and says, Okay, now we no longer need all these things. So, what I'm gonna do, I will give myself to equalize history, such that whether it is a priest who has fallen or a sinner, poor, all of they, there is no requirement anymore. Okay, now Jesus comes and dies. And all these my requirements gone. He becomes the requirement for our salvation. He has done the work for our salvation. So all you need to do is do what? Believe in him and confess. That's it. So what are you confessing? Not your sins. When you, cause when you start, if you start confessing your sins, my friend, utalala apa? Ukichukua dhambi, kila dhambi, everyone. Dhambi hii nilikula sukari. Hii niliba pesa ya mama yangu. You know, like, dhambi zote. In other words, Kenya nasema is when you give your life to Jesus, it's a blanket cover. Like, ina cover the entire sins. Ina cover the sins of the past and the sins of the future. Okay, zenye usha ifanya na zenye in case ufanya in future, you you have atonement, you have a way out. Again, that's what happened at the cross. There is a way out. Okay, sisi uh, unambia ukitenda dhambi lazima wenda kwa pastor. Okay, Catholic Church, wenda kwa priest, u confess. Then, uh, well, I don't know, but I know the part of confession na confess ya ujama ivo. Unaenda tena place zingine kuna place zingine utaambiwa nao kwa sababu umetenda dhambi leta shilingi 1000 ndio tuweze kukuombea you know like it's all about money but this verse is telling you there is no need for that for you to receive salvation it's free haya turn to Romans 10:9 start one the next step Okay, Romans 10, 9. Uh, if you're there, read. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and mm. believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you do what? Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. An here another version. If you declare with your mouth, mm. Imagine that is all the requirement. So ask your friend, have you declared with your mouth? Ask them, ask your the pastor sitting next to you, have you declared with your mouth that Jesus is Lord? And have you believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead? Okay? <laughs> now, let me explain your point. Because this is so critical. And you see, most preachers in churches will never tell you this. Because they want you to remain in a place you are bound to them, to their prayers, to whatever. Okay? So, me, me, pastor, but I don't do that stuff. If you come to me to do prayers, I will listen. But then, I will decide, I will tell you, why don't you pray this way? So that then, the next time, you are in a situation and I'm not available. You are able to do what? To sort it yourself. All right. So, in a sense, if you declare with your mouth, first thing, you declare. Now, other verses say if you confess, 
But then the word declaration means from today I declare. Okay? I'm not just confessing. It's a declaration. I declare from today that Jesus is Lord and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. You say that and you are qualified for heaven. That's it. It's simple. Like in a car, in a need to more complicated. In a need to go tungazi, tungazi, step one, step two. No, that's it. But what is the greatest contention against Christianity? What do other religions have against Christianity? The main and the greatest contention in Christianity is resurrection from the dead of Jesus Christ. Hapo, do all religions wanaendaka hivi. Why? Because the devil knows that if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. So the Kenya Shirani Lifanya alileta contention around you. Sayadu kenda kwa kwa awa si atheists the question they will ask you is how do you believe that Jesus rose from the dead how, why you know, now I tell a lot of stuff and there's this movie I was watching uh, that is from a book Neto, uh, The Case for Christ and this guy is confronting uh, this analogy, uh, not analogy this issue of resurrection from the dead, okay, of Jesus Christ and then he starts saying even the soldiers who were there lied. Ama, they were told to lie. Okay? Because the soldiers who were there said, that when they went to the high priest, they said, this, we saw Jesus coming out of the grave. But then they were bribed to go and say, the disciples of Jesus came and stole him. And that is what has remained even in, in, uh, in Europe and in, um, in Middle East. Okay? That Jesus did not resurrect from the dead. Instead, his disciples did what? Came and stole him from the grave. Why is the devil going to those lengths to deny the resurrection of Jesus? Because the resurrection of Jesus, believing in the resurrection of Jesus, is part of salvation. It's part of being saved. Are <laughs> we together? So, Napata, I declare with my mouth, Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And when I say believe, I mean you believe it. It's not even contention. You believe it. So this professor, Kwahi, case, the case for Christ, he goes around and Adar could prove his wife wrong because they were both atheists. And then the wife got born again when they were married. And she met this woman. I think the woman prayed for her. You should watch that movie. So the professor, uh, was he a professor? This guy, this guy, decides to prove, because there was an argument in the house. He was born again, he was born again, he was born again, he was born again, he was Christ, Christianity, he was born again. And so the professor is like, okay, let me do a research on this Christianity to prove my wife wrong. So he goes around doing research. And one of the main contention issues that he's bringing up is resurrection. And so he visits professors of theology, doctors of theology, to try and answer this question. And then one of them, a psychologist, even goes to human uh, secular psychologists. And they tell him there is no way that there could have been mass lying, mass. It is impossible to hypnotize masses. And the more he searches to prove Christianity wrong to his wife, the more he becomes convicted that he needs to embrace Jesus. <laughs> it's a very interesting thing. That by the time anamalize your research, ata yeye, anagwa meokoka. Na ananda could defend Jesus. Then, the case for Christ. So he writes a book about your story. When you alianza, when you have to believe in Jesus, when you alianda ku research, do you approve bibiake you are wrong? Wewe, ume tupamba wacha ni kupruvie. Dog, dog in the process and I realized, eh, okay, I was wrong all along. So he gets saved. But the contention was God raised him from the dead. You need to contention. That is all that is needed for salvation. Higher. 
Turn to Acts 4, verse 12. Acts 4, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can read. And uh, there is salvation in and through no one else. Mm. There is no other name under heaven given mm. among men mm. by and in which we must be saved. Mm -hmm. There is no other name. Aya, another version. Salvation is found in no one else. Mm. There is no other name under heaven given to mankind mm. which we must be saved. Hey, I love you given to mankind. Reason I'm, I'm insisting on that is because of working at Oprah Winfrey and the New Age movement. So this is how it argues. And, and I'm saying this because you guys will meet them. Come on, Jawa, meet. They say there are many ways to God. One of them is Jesus. Another one is Mohammed. Another one is Enlightenment. Another one is Hindu or Krishna. There are many ways to the same God. So they argue and they say we are all, God is one, but we are all seeing different parts of this one God. Then they give an analogy of, a, of this Hindu guy. He was a king, and so he called blind men, like 10 of them. And then he placed an elephant in the room. And then he said, um, I want you to go touch that elephant and tell me what is an elephant. So this blind man had never seen an elephant. So Moja Kashika Mkia Kasema, an elephant is like a rope. <laughs> when I touch it, I feel a rope. Mwina Kashika Mgu, Akasema, elephant is a drum. It's like a drum. Mwina Kashika Maskio, elephant is like Iki Chungi. Ito kwa kipepeo. Iyo, kipepeo. Akasema, elephant is like a kipepeo. Again, so everyone had their own definitions of the elephant. And that's what made Kitunaito an elephant in the room. That's where it came from. <laughs> the elephant in the room. <laughs> the elephant in the room I kuwagi ati conversations are mwezi. Unajua watu wanaitumiaga ati there is an elephant in the room. You know like ni kama kuna vitu wa tunafaa tuonge. No, the elephant in the room analogy is we are we are seeing different things of the of the same thing we are defining differently one thing <laughs> so so in opera and all these other new ages they say god is one it's only that you can see wewe ukisikiliza mungu ni nani unasema mungu ni kama rope okay venye tu mzali kwa define because that is the part of god you know then another one, who is God? God is this. Because that's the other part of God, you know. But God is one big thing, one big mountain, and we are all seeing different parts. That's the argument. Okay? So they say Jesus is one of the ways to heaven. Muhammad is another way to heaven. Uh, Buddhism and, and enlightenment is another way. To, so there are many ways to the same God. You get it? But then about Bible in Asema, there is no name under heaven given to mankind. Mankind. Not, not Christians. Mankind. The entire earth. Whatever religion, whatever ground you come from, salvation is only through Jesus. Nothing else, no one else. And that's why the Bible, you ask for to the same. Salvation is found in no one else. No one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. So anyone who comes with another name is not of God. Anyone who comes with another way is not of God. So I listened to Miles Monroe responding to that whole story about different ways to the same heaven. And he responded and I said, I respect you. Because he said, when you want to go to Greece, you don't go 
uh, to the American embassy for them to give you a visa to go to Greece. You go to the Greek embassy. If you want to go to America, you don't go to the United Kingdom's embassy to go to, for them to give you a visa to go to America. Okay? So he says, if you want to go to the U.S. and you're in your country, you go to the U.S. embassy and the U.S. embassy gives you a visa to go to the U.S. If you want to go to Greece, you go to the Greek embassy in your country and they give you a visa to go where? To Greece. If, so he said, if you want to go to the heaven Jesus promised, you cannot go to Muhammad. You have to go to, the, to, the, to Jesus for him to give you the visa to go to the heaven he promised. If you want to go to the heaven Muhammad promised, you cannot go to Jesus. You have to go to Muhammad. Do you have a visa to go up? Because you have a heaven. I was like, where? You know, if you want to go to the heaven, Buddha promised, you cannot go to Jesus to go to that heaven. You can only go to Buddha because Buddha will take you to his heaven. Okay? And I said, okay. So he says, in the heaven that Jesus preached, Jesus did not mention 72 virgins. So there must be different heavens. See Like the Jesus, the heaven he promised is not doesn't have all this stuff. But the heaven Muhammad promised has 72 virgins. <laughs> so then you wonder if Muhammad has promised 72 virgins for the men, what is he promising the women? No, if you die for their religion, you are rewarded with 72 virgins. For every man who dies in suicide, whatever. Yeah? Yes, yeah, you may go to Muslim, no. Jihad, you know, Jiwa, Nabada, 72 virgins. But then, what is that? Then what is that? Yeah, like Misha, Umeisha, Alafu, next. You're gone. So, yeah, well, Zujui, that is their heaven. That is their heaven. But if you want to go to heaven of the God of the Bible, there is only one way through Jesus. If a Muslim comes and says, oh, Muhammad is the way, no other teacher, you see, they refer to Jesus as a teacher, but of all religions, no other teacher proclaimed, I am the way. The truth, even Muhammad says, such the way. Okay. Quran <laughs> Azema search the way. Find go and find the way. Jesus Christ is the only one who said, I am the way. Even Buddha does not claim to be the way. He only claims to be a teacher to teach the way of enlightenment. He a way of enlightenment, he can only be found fully complete through Jesus. When you study all those religions, you will realize they were seeking something. They may not have started to mislead. Like I, I work once and you are mislead. There's something they were searching. Like someone like Muhammad was very close to Jews in those times. Then someone else argued and said, why would you believe a teaching, someone talking about Jesus, yet they came hundreds of years later after Jesus? Their evidence was distorted already. Because in Ajua, Islam lands around 600 and something BC. That was like 600 years after Jesus. 600 AD after Jesus. So whose evidence would you believe? The ones who claim we walked with Jesus? Or the one who came 600 years later and said Jesus was not a prophet? <laughs> You get my point? 
The evidence of eyewitness is very powerful, even in a court of law. Someone who says, I saw it, and someone who says, I had it, are two different cases. Someone who had it may not have seen the facts. Maybe a Liskevi buyer. Someone who saw it has the facts. So when they argue, is uh, manini. You know, when you look at like in a booth and all these people, okay? So salvation is through Jesus. Let me repeat some things in Mesema. We said, you cannot get saved by works. And we also said, works cannot determine whether you are saved or not. Okay? The only way to salvation is through Jesus. So let me ask you another question. Can you lose salvation? Can you lose this gift? How do you stop believing? Can you lose salvation? Think very carefully. <laughs> uh -huh. No, discuss, discuss. Can you lose salvation? Uh -huh. uh, let me hear what you guys, what's your thought? Uko ka discussion ka meshika? Let's let's hear Akina Karis. Munakam ko deep, eh, Brian? Okay, Brian na kuna Karis. Sasa I know kuna Brian Karis. But kuna Karis na Brian. Eh, tell us. Um for me, we're just asking ourselves the question <laughs> over you. When you talk about losing, for us it's unless you make the intentional decision to denounce it. Like still with the same words, because we say you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart as a God. So the opposite is true. Like if you denounce, if you don't believe, that's when you can lose salvation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we were, we're just trying to argue around that and talk about the works. And, and now tie it away from that so that now we are not talking about backsliding as losing salvation. That's a different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yes. Apa? From the book of uh, Acts 412. Which book? Uh, Acts. 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 Mm -hmm. The Bible says salvation comes no other way, no other name mm -hmm. has been or will be given to us by which we can be saved. Only this one, that is Jesus Christ. Mm. So I'll still, it's the same thing in MSM. You confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. So salvation in Jesus Christ is to believe through Jesus Christ, through your acts. Can you lose it? You can lose it when you denounce. Yeah, when I make a good example, when I talk about Mohammed, I say Jesus. Hiya, now, I just need to hear. Selifa. Yeah, na situ esema unaweza lose. Eh? Kwa sababu grace iko. 
but sasa hiyo fake ya kuamini na ku declare mm. kama ulikuwa ume declare ni no, kai sawa but ukifika mahali useme story ya Jesus kufufuka isa no mm. and you've lost it okay so how then how do you lose it do you lose it by actions by your life how you live or by saying it by saying it because how do you earn salvation you earn, you earn okay <laughs> by, uh, by grace through faith and then once you do that you do what you declare that Jesus is Lord and he rose from the, and God raised him from the dead okay so you earn salvation not by works so how do you lose it you can't lose it by works. <laughs> but then, why do we go to works? Okay? L let me repeat, let me go back to the question we asked first. What determines that someone is saved? The belief that they have on Jesus or how they live their lives. Then we said, there are people who are very nice, very good people, very kind, they don't do stuff, they are people of integrity, but they are not saved. And then there are others who say they are saved. But we are not saved. But we are not saved. But then we said, is salvation determined by your lifestyle? Are you together? Or is it determined by what Jesus did at the cross? Okay? Then we answered to Kasema, salvation hapa venye tunawala kuningana Bible is determined by the work that, the, that Christ has done. Okay? So you believe in what Christ has done and you are saved. But then, the churches, we judge people based on their lifestyle. Works. And we say, huyu hata inda heaven. Na huyu hata ingia heaven. Yet, tunapata wale watu wenye wanafanya zile vitu mbaya, ni kama hao ndi wanarepent sana. Then wale wazuri, hata wana aja nini? Ya salvation. Okay? So, so yu ni kuwa bring to, to where we are now. So then we have asked, can you lose it? Can you lose salvation? Okay? So, lifestyle does works determine whether you are saved or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, are you saying someone can be a prostitute by night, but she's still saved? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 Goja. Goja. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm the trend apple. Is someone born again by their works? No. Or by faith? By faith. Okay. Uh -huh. So if someone's works are not saved, according to us, someone is a prostitute. <laughs> but every Sunday they confess they are saved. Are they saved? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If salvation was determined by how they live, who among us here would be saved? Oh, you get my point? Yes. <laughs> like, if Jesus came and said, I will give you salvation because you are nice, because you are kind, wewe unakaga ibi, so that pay salvation. Who among us would be saved? No one. Okay? So, can a prostitute continue in her work but she still declares Jesus is Lord and she still believes he was raised from the dead and she's still in the streets that's what I'm asking what's the meaning of Jesus is Lord the meaning at, at what joy what? see that's what we are talking about that's what I'm asking you guys. Romans 10, 19. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Then to Kasoma, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Narudilia wale wale miss. 
Ephesians 2.9, we said, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one may boast. And we said, does salvation, is salvation determined by your lifestyle? And we said, no. It is determined by your confession and your belief of Jesus Christ. So what I am asking is this, there is a prostitute in the streets. She is practicing her trade. And she is saying, Jesus is Lord, and she is believing that God raised him from the dead. So is she saved? Yes. 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 So why is this so difficult? I know. I know. I know. I I know. 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 I what we uh, we had better doing. So for me, I believe ukipanda si ya machungo, we expect to uh, maembe. When you get salvation, yes, it's a working process. But at the end of the day, utatoa machungo. Ukitoa maembe. Goja. No, we will we will kenya na uliza. Uliza, you need to na answer. So you cannot be a prostitute going to the street. Ni kama mimi say ni mwaoka. My question is You know answer Pasi. Once you never go at the end of the day, yeah, I cannot confess in my mouth that Jesus Christ is, is my savior. Why not? I, I have, Why not? I have to fully, if I believe in someone, you have to fully follow what they say. That is wax. If you're following, that's wax. That is wax. One, one, one. salvation has been activated by faith. Sasa, and then works. This is a way when we do. Sasa. 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 So, if a prostitute is saved through faith, if God used a prostitute, who are we to judge? We cannot judge, but I can talk about the world and talk about the street. Goja, hold on, hold on. You guys, uh -uh. you're going too far. Relax. Sasa, wewe, wewe mengilia kwa wax. Wewe ndo mengilia kwa wax. Wewe ndo mengilia kwa wax. The question is this. We are talking about belief. Salvation. So, so, I wish, I wish we could go to Kianza. Because then we get the process of where we are coming from. But, we will continue sinning because grace is coming. Skiza, relax. Where we end up, son. We are going class, we end up class seven. Relax. To go grade one. Okay? <laughs> Salvation yes. is never earned. Yes. You never earned it. Yes. You can't earn it. Uh, we have agreed on that. So you have agreed on that. Uh, Even a prostitute deserves to be saved. Tick. Even a working prostitute, Mwanyako Kwayo Kazi, is saved. Because when Jesus died, he didn't bagua yes. and say, I am dying for you as long as you live like this. You get my point? Okay? He didn't say that. But we are coming to that. Okay? We are coming to that. You 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 are coming to that. There are people you will judge and you meet them in heaven opening the door for you. Telling you, Karibuni Sana, thank you, you know, it's been real. Mulini Judge Earth, here I am. <laughs> because, let me ask you a question. When the Bible talks about good news, because the gospel is good news, good news is not overburdening people more. It is telling them that you are free, you have received freedom without even working. That is why when people received salvation in the book of Acts, there was great rejoicing among them. Because what I'm teaching you is what the apostles taught them. Are you together? 
what the apostles will be you are free you have been set free not by works and this gift of salvation has been earned for you therefore all you have to do is believe that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead that's it because then the other question I would ask is this when that prostitute is working she's in the streets someone comes and picks him or picks her and they go when they are in that action is the love of God diminished in her life are you together does God even Saizo Saizo she's in action Saizo is the love of God still there with her you get my point Mungu bado anampenda. Sasa ingine anaomba mpaka biashara ifanye nini? He thrive. You get my point? You see, I am not justifying sin. I am not justifying prostitution. I'm not justifying these things. But I'm looking at it from God's angle. Okay? And saying there are people what are chana prostitutes. They are pastors, they are preachers, they are Christians who believe in God, but they do things that are not godly at all. Some some worse ada kuliko our prostitutes. But bado wanasimama pale mbe? Pale mbele. But then we have great respect for them because wanasimama wapi? Pale mbele. But na despise you prostitute because ako wapi? Kwa streets. <laughs> together. But yeah in the eyes of God, who you jamana simama pale mbele na who prostitute wako the same. <laughs> in the eyes of God what I'm trying to show you is how limited we as human beings are when it comes to seeing the lives of other people we are so limited such that that's why Jesus said judge not lest you be judged because he knows he knows prostitution in church pastors who are sleeping with everyone's wife it's there the flirting that's going on in churches huyu anachukua bwana ya huyu huyu anachukua bwana ya yule wakienda kwa pastor pastor anapita nao wote wawili bwana na bibi eh cuz pastor ni bisexual oh no <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Aya, churches. Not all churches of course. But churches are crazy. You you go you have you see you have problems in your marriage. So you go to your pastor. Okay? For counseling. So pastor, kumbe sasa anachekesha your wife. So mnachapa counseling wao naambiwa sasa usikuwa unakuja like next week usikuje bibi yako akuje peke yake because now the pastor wants to see you individually so you know individually do you apart apart any case na hii you know do I elewe my friend muna chazo nyinyi wa bila mko kwa nyumba mo next week bibi anakuja pasa na pita next time una kuja anapita na wewe So you really have to you get you don't know cause you don't want to destroy your marriage more yeah. so you don't know but this is rotten you get but then every sunday what do we do to that pastor we elevate the pastor we clap <laughs> for the pastor hey. then we see a prostitute what do we do to the prostitute cas yeah, cas wewe kuna uwezi pata kazi ya maana tunamtemea mate nini what we do not know we have the greatest prostitute on our pulpit So in the eyes of God when these two people Mungu akiwaangalia hivi huyu prostitute she repents every morning every morning she cries to God forgive me huyu pastor justifies his sins with the bible forget <laughs> so who is more nini in the eyes of God both of them imaisha si venye tunayonaga
Salvation by faith, not by works, is not an easy concept for us Christians to embrace. Because we embrace it as long as it applies to me. When we hear it applies to the other person, we are like, ah, mm -mm, no, we are lazy. Ah, yes, I can. What, what, which means we are very selfish within ourselves. We want equal, very nice for us, but we don't want it to be very nice for that other person. <laughs> you get salvation by works, by, by faith. That one is so critical that if we capture that, we will live very good lives, knowing that I don't have to do anything to be saved. I am already saved. I am already born again. I already have a place in heaven. So pause. Next week sector ingine sasa. Where do works come in? If I'm saved by grace, why bother with works? Okay? Yes, Joy. Gani? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Can you lose salvation? Yes. Yeah. You can lose salvation by rejecting that gift, by refusing to accept it, by changing your belief, changing your confession. And you say, I no longer believe Jesus is Lord, and I no longer believe he was raised from the dead. Okay? You can lose it. But you can you know, when you say lose, it's like you are holding this thing, and then you lose it without knowing. So this is a thing. You cannot lose salvation without knowing. You know, like... <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm no longer born. No. You lose salvation by outrightly rejecting it. Again, and next week we'll see, we we'll look at the different works and what they state about your, your life. You get? Because it's, it's impossible to lose something like salvation, and sometimes you didn't even know you have it. And then when you lost it. How do you lose something you didn't even know you had? Okay? You can't lose something. You can't lose something. You can't lose something. You can't lose something. You didn't even know you had it. You, you get it. So, it's, <laughs> so, to me, I'm to very, very few scriptures. There are more scriptures that explain. Because kama sasa kuna scriptures, kuna stories sasa kama eternal life. What is it all about? How do you earn eternal life? Do you earn eternal life by salvation alone? Or is there something extra you need to do to earn eternal life? Okay? Does being saved peke yake determine your everlasting life? Or is there something extra you have to do for you to actually earn eternal life? Then what is this eternal life? What does it look like? What is it all about? Get? All right, it's time to give. Yes. Is there a gift for salvation, like a crown of life or something? Yeah. Sasa, tutajibu hizo next week. Because in the case of the friend, that there are many different, there are different crowns. Yes. Yes. The first crown, niyo, ukisha tu wakoka tu. Yes. Crown of life. Yes. Yes, everyone who is saved already has a crown for eternal life. That's what I'm talking about. Next week, you're going to teach us. You're deep, sir. Jesus is the crown of life. Yes. That means that 
his name is a gift. Is a bit of a gift or something. I talk about our doctors. In the end, it's G. The result, it's G. The Jesus plan to have it and costume. They are for it. It's about our young men. We conquer Amadi. Something extra. Could have something extra. We will. We would have the same. Uh, Nini's levels and revelations and all that. Mm. Yes. I have a question. Yeah, you told us that when what he said, like all your sins are forgiven, but that's a, during illness, their judgment, who uh, was able to visit his own? That is our own. No. At a judge, what is he judging? At a judge, rewards. Wax. Wax. Uh, wax. So that we can wax next week. You don't know what you're about. Something from your own Don't worry. You have to wax The salvation in your core. The sins of the previous sins and the sins to come. So, Imagine. So you mean, yeah. he is in Ghana. How many, how many interpretation you know? Don't miss next week. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Trailer. Trailer. New trailers are there. Next week. Make sure next week we go up. So that we, we deal with those things. Don't miss. Don't miss. Next week. Same time. Same time. Ah, it's me uh, Me give five twenty. <laughs> Have you given five twenty seven fifty eight <laughs> till number five twenty seven fifty eight? Selifa. Selifa. Misawa tu. <laughs> All right. So let us pray. Oh Lord, we thank you today for the wonderful time that you've given us. We pray for your strength to be upon us. We pray that your grace will continue to be with us in all things and at all times. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We pray that this gift will continue to work in our lives. We thank you, Jesus, for sacrificing your life and sacrificing your glory so that we may experience your glory. We pray today, the Lord, you will continue to teach us and to be with us. I pray for everyone who is here, and I ask the Lord you bless them, you keep them, you walk with them. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. Amen.